Right now, an estimated 66 million Americans are receiving food stamps and or Medicaid. In addition, there are 21 million folks working for the government. That means that 87 million people in America are being subsidized by we the taxpayers. But there are only 109 million Americans working in the private sector, doing the math. It's impossible for 109 million workers to support 87 million people. It can't be done, no matter how much you tax the workers. Yet the Obama administration and the Democratic Party continue to put forth that higher taxation will bring the massive government debt under control. Perhaps the only Democrat telling the truth about this is our old pal Howard Dean, the uber-liberal former governor of Vermont. The truth is, everybody needs to pay more taxes, not just the rich. Uh, that's a good start, but we're not going to get out of this deficit problem unless we raise taxes across the board. Now, Governor Dean sympathizes with the socialist philosophy, and that's where the country's heading, taking from those who are productive and giving to those who are struggling or who are working for the massive government apparatus. During this Christmas season, I think we all should emulate Officer DePrimo. We should try to help those in need, but that help may be futile. If the federal government doesn't wise up and impose some discipline on the incredible, incredible entitlement spending, America's economy will eventually collapse.